Okay, in the last video we have created visual representation of our rooms. They get generated every time in a slightly different uh, setup. And what I want to do now is to expose a three more parameters so we can tweak and look at what the result can look like. So let's go to the scripts. So previously we have implemented this part showing off the meshes, but I want to expose some more variables so first let's visit the room generator script and we have those three parameters uh, that we pass to the method but we don't pass them from the top we pass them here as hard-coded values so let's change that let's create in the generator room uh, generate room in given space method definition the three more parameters the first will be room bottom corner modifier room top corner modifier and room offset first two will be floats and second will be int so float room bottom corner modifier float room top corner modifier and int room offset great let's assign those so room bottom corner modifier is this value a room top corner modifier is this value and our offset room offset is this value and those can really influence the results that we get so we want to have them exposed so let's search where this function is being called okay here so we need to uh, really copy those values so let's copy this names let's go to the dungeon generator and we can see that we are calling it here in calculate rooms method paste these parameters into the calculate room method uh, definition let's paste them here as well so we'll paste them to the generate room in given space call. Delete the types. Okay. Where do we call this calculate rooms? Okay, here in create dungeon. And here is the dungeon creator that we have exposed in the Unity editor. So let's create those new parameters in our editor okay we need to make this public okay here we will paste them so room bottom corner modifier room top corner modifier and room offset great okay Control k Control d to format the code and let's format ourselves so it is more visible for us so now we are passing those the uh, three additional parameters in our create the uh, dungeon creator script so we have them exposed in the editor so we want to set some ranges here so let's call range attribute and for the bottom corner we want to have attribute from 0 0 f to 0.3 f you can change those later but for but for now i think those are pretty good ranges for the room top corner modifier the first value will be 0.7 and the second value will be one and for room offset i think we can stick with values from zero to about two so let's go back to the editor and we can see those ranges this one has no dot i don't know why but now it has after you click on it once and we can set those to be 0.1 as there were as there were 0.9 and 1 and save the script see it is all still working okay and i think we should go back to my end example and i will show you how those parameters can affect our results Okay, so I have switched to the finished version of our 
dungeon generator and we have the parameters exposed as well and we can see that for now we are generating those different structures that are column or rows uh, the rooms are set in the current column or row fashion so at the end they end up as a grid structure rather than the organic uh, structure but we can influence those by changing the bottom corner modifier and top corner modifier so let's modify the top corner and we can see that the setup is slightly changed and the rooms look a little bit differently but it comes with a price uh, well my algorithm for creating corridors isn't perfect and for bigger rooms it uh, played okay but for this you can see that there is an issue here when our road has connected from this this room to this room and there are slight bugs like this i will try to improve it but for now i do apologize for it but uh, there you might encounter this situation where the generated rooms doesn't connect the way you want them to and actually we can also check the offset parameter we can increase the offset the rooms should be much more tiny but at the end you can see that there is even more those crossings of the corridors and we can decrease this to zero and the room should be much bigger and the corridor problem should be much smaller in this uh, instance because the rooms are bigger and it is easier to find a way to connect cor with a corridor two rooms together in the next video we will implement the corridor connecting algorithm in our project